I sound like an ad. Can you hear me? Can you hear me now? To truly appreciate this classic 315 words, you must remember it was written over 50 years ago when the sale of whiskey was illegal in Mississippi. We sold it, we drank it, we taxed it. We even elected a statewide public official to collect the tax. People staggered to the polls to vote dry was the common saying. It was the most controversial of all subjects to ask a candidate for public office, especially a candidate for the legislature. This speech was written and delivered by N.S. Soggy Sweat while he was a member of the Mississippi House of Representatives from Alcorn County. My friends, I had not intended to discuss this controversial subject at this particular time. However, I want you to know that I do not shun controversy. On the contrary, I will take a stand on any issue at any time, regardless of how fraught with controversy it might be. You have asked me how I feel about whiskey. All right, this is how I feel about whiskey. If, when you say whiskey, you mean the devil's brew, the poison scourge, the bloody monster that defiles innocence, dethrones reason, destroys the home, creates misery and poverty, yea, literally takes the bread from the mouths of little children. If you mean the evil drink that topples a Christian man and woman from the pinnacles of righteous, gracious living, into the bottomless pit of degradation and despair and shame and helplessness and hopelessness, then certainly I am against it. But if when you say whiskey, you mean the oil of conversation, the philosophic wine, the ale that puts a song in their hearts and laughter on their lips and a warm glow of contentment in their eyes, if you mean Christmas cheer, if you mean the stimulating drink that puts a skip into the old gentleman's step on a frosty Christmas morning, if you mean the drink when it enables a man to magnify his joy and his happiness and to forget if only for a little while life's great tragedies and heartaches and sorrows, if you mean the drink, the sale of which pours into our treasury, untold millions of dollars which are used to provide tender care for our little crippled children. I'm blind, I'm deaf, I'm pitifully aged and infirm to build highways, hospitals, and schools, then certainly I am for it. <laughs> this is my stand. I will not retreat from it. I will not compromise. 